Okay, hey. Oh, it's recording now? Okay, hey. Uh, this <laughs> I was confused. This is my first time. This is my first time using this camera, so I was I didn't know it did like a little three, two, one countdown thing and then it like went away and then it came back and then it said recording. So now that we're here. Hey y'all. Uh, how y'all doing? It's um this is the weekday wrap up, so we're um actually it's just like this week this weekend or did I say weekday? I'm sorry. The weekend has been like a super drag and possibly because Hurricane Sandy has been pissing me off since she arrived in town or wherever the hell she was at. But it's been raining like on and off here in Cleveland for like the past two, three days. Like one day it was like 99 degrees outside then the next day it just was raining, like pouring down and it's still raining. So yeah, everybody's grass is going to be... um dead because it's been drowned and I'm um you I hope that nobody watched their car. But anywho, so weekday wrap up or weekend wrap up. Let's get into it. We got like three stories to discuss really quickly, so this won't take long. Hopefully. Y'all know I always say that, but Okay, let's start with the somber news first and then get into the more, you know, festive stuff if you will so there were new developments in the natina reed case or the natina reed's death for you guys who don't know natina reed on friday no yesterday actually it was saturday no it was friday night yeah friday night was killed in a hit and run accident in atlanta georgia and there are reports saying that there are new details a couple who um actually hit her have come forward and said that they believed that they had hit a deer and they kept going so that's their quote-unquote reasoning and kept keep going and not turning around but they said eventually they turned around and found out it was a person they hit and they dialed 911 but it was too late by then she was dead on arrival when she arrived at the hospital so this story is fishy to me for a couple of reasons one being I'm not sure what the laws in are at in Atlanta, but here in Cleveland, if you hit a deer, is then your property. So if you hit a deer like down the street, you can pick that deer up, strap it on top of your car, take it home, cut its head off, and put it on your mantle if you want to. Why you would want to? That's another story. I'm not here for that. But if you hit a deer, why? Why would you? Why would you turn around? Like, do you want it to turn around to see the dead deer you hit? That's what, it. Just seems suspicious to me. Like it seems like somebody, something, somebody knew something. You had to know. A deer and a human. Human uh, deer's are heavy. Like deer's will fuck you. I mean, not to say a human won't mess your car up too, but a deer will like tear your car up to the point where you would need to stop and pull over and say, "Whoa, there! What just happened?" Not so much as with a human because we're not as heavy as deer. So I just think it's something suspicious going on in that story. And I can't wait till the truth comes out because it's really unfortunate that she had to go in that way. So um, that's that. Continue praying for her family and things. Okay, so now on to more festive news. Okay, let's talk about our favorite threesome, Chris, Rihanna, and Carrie Douche. Or Crash Bandicoot. Or do we want to talk about Lil Wayne first? Let's talk about Lil Wayne first because he won't take long. So, y'all know he had another seizure. Friday. It was a, it happened. I had did the weekday wrap up already. So, I wasn't going to redo it and talk about it again. So, he had another seizure. That would count. That was two seizures in 24 hours. Now, y'all know I said I'm not here to come for him or nothing of that nature because I'm, I don't know Lil Wayne's art. I don't listen to rap. I don't listen to him. I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all that this man is crazy. However, I do know enough about Lil Wayne to know that he gets high on a regular and he drinks NyQuil. So, or cough syrup. We don't know if NyQuil is his favorite brand, but we know it's some type of cough syrup. So, possibly he could have went into an overdose type thing and he has seizure. So anyway, he's recuperating now at home in Texas with his mother, which I think is nice and festive and things. He's not shacking up with some bimbo who's not gonna take care of him. At least his mom will make sure he gets the, you know, proper rest and 
nourishment and stuff. It's something about mothers, but that's beyond the point. So, um, happy recovery, little Wayne. Now, for our favorite threesome, Carrie Douche, Chris, and Rihanna. So, here is the first kiki. So, first let's talk about Chris and Carrie Douche. Apparently, and allegedly, Chris Brown put Carrie Douche, or Crash Bandicoot, or Chris Cross, whatever you want to call her, he put her into a condo and basically made her into this she is fixed if you will because y'all know she's allegedly pregnant with his child so to keep her on a short leash if you will he put her in this condo ain't gotta pay for shit she got it made okay and all she gotta do is keep boning him whenever he wants so, I just want to say in in my because I have there's two the two compelling sides, the extremely um, man side of me is saying props to Chris Brown for being able to pull this off. Like you got Rihanna and Carrie Douche. Now, I'm not. I'm not going to say Carrie Douche is more attractive than Rihanna because I think Rihanna is like the baddest person walking the face of this earth, or at least one of them. But to have those two women come together and formulate a plan that they can both have you and it be okay, it's just like Players Club 101. So, but then there's another side that makes me think like, seriously, you have to be a complete and utter douchebag. All three of y'all, and especially Carrie Douche and Rihanna, to have low self-esteem to let somebody essentially, well, Carrie Douche is being bought, and Rihanna is just being boned whenever she wants to, but it's just like, y'all both are, can have anybody y'all want. I'm single. Like, it's, you don't have to settle. I don't know what type of golden penis he has, but whatever, it is what it is. So, now, we're done talking about Carrie Douche. Chris and Rihanna are supposed to make their first public appearance as a couple on Halloween because Rihanna's throwing this Halloween party called um, Rihanna's Halloween Costume Ball. On It's actually on Halloween, and it's going to be at L.A. Greystone. And I wish I lived in L.A. because so, I would go and show up just to get pictures of the red carpet because allegations are saying that they're going to come as Batman and Batgirl, which is going to be humorous as shit. So, um... Yeah, I'm excited. I, I I want those two to be together. I don't want Crash Bandicoot to be a part of this love triangle anymore. But she, if she's pregnant, she's going to be permanent. So, sorry for you. All right. Um, Is that... Let's scroll. Is that it? I cracked my... Y'all want to see? Look, I cracked it yesterday. You see the crack? I was so distraught. I almost cried. I was like, oh my God. And I had this thing for like two years. It's the first time I dropped it ever. And it just happened to crack on the first time I dropped it. Well, I did drop it on cement, so, yeah. But, he's okay. I can still, at least, at least the screen still works. And I don't have a big spider web pattern crack on my screen. Then, and only then, would I be pissed. So, that's a week, weekend wrap up. Um, That's it, I think. Oh, we gotta talk. We got another reaction video we were sent today. So, we'll be doing that too, so. Alright, y'all. Peace. I hope this camera ain't about it. How do I turn this off? Stop capturing video. Oh, that's off.